Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, your iPhone, as well as your iPad using Snowbreeze 2.1. Now before we begin anything, I do want to go ahead and give you the standard warning that you will need to go ahead and back up all of your data in iTunes before attempting the jailbreak. Uh, now this is very simple, all you need to do is plug in your device into iTunes, let it fully sync and you will be good to go. Okay, so the first step is going to be to download Snowbreeze 2.1. I mean, you can go ahead and do this at the link listed in the description below. So all you need to do is go ahead and come to the website and scroll right down here and go ahead and click download for Windows. Okay, so at this point we are ready to begin. So simply go ahead and open up Snowbreeze and then go over here and click next. Um, so at this screen it will ask you to go ahead and give it your IPSW file. Basically what this is is the firmware file for your respective device, whether it be an iPod, an iPhone, or an iPad. So basically what you're going to need to do is find how to find this. So you're either going to need to go ahead and look for it on your computer, or you might need to go ahead and download it. Um, so go ahead, your best bet is just to Google whatever you're looking for. Once you found it, go ahead and click Browse. Now go ahead and select your firmware and click Open. Okay, so once it finishes verifying your firmware, go ahead and click Next. Now it will ask you, do you want to use simple mode or expert mode? Uh, now personally, I recommend going ahead and using expert mode. Even though it says expert, it really just gives you a few more options. And to be honest, there's really not a whole lot of downside to using it. Now I'm going to go ahead and walk you through all of the different options in expert mode. So to begin with, let's go ahead and go to general. Now you will see a lot of different options, um, everything from activating your iPhone, installing SSH, um, and if you have an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch second generation, you also see some such as background wallpaper, battery percentage, and native multitasking. Now pretty much all of these are optional, so you can go ahead and mix and match whatever you like. Um, personally, I recommend going ahead Installing SSH definitely is a very good idea, um, and as soon as you do do this, it will tell you how to change your password, which is important. Of course, you can do that after you jailbreak. So I recommend going ahead and installing SSH, and then if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch that have these options, probably not a bad idea to at least do native multitasking, and again, totally optional up to you what you want to install. Okay, now we can go ahead and click next, and that's one of really the nice features of Snowbreeze is the fact that you can go ahead and install custom apps and sources already through the Snowbreeze itself instead of doing it on your device. However, again, this is totally optional, and if you don't want to, you do not have to do this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now. And now that's going to be it. So all you need to do is go ahead and click Build IPSW and hit next. So at this point, it's going to go ahead and take a few minutes, so it's best to just go ahead and sit back, give it a few minutes to go ahead and complete. Okay, so as soon as Snowbreeze finishes, you're ready to go ahead and begin the jailbreak. Um, so this is going to be pretty simple. All you need to do is put your device into DFU mode. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. The first step is to go ahead and hold the power button until your device shuts off. So as you can see here, we have the slide 10 lock. Let's shut off and we're ready to begin. Okay, so this is going to be a timed series of buttons. You're going to need to go ahead and press that and that uh, in a sequence. So I'll go ahead and walk you guys through it. So I'm going to go ahead and click start. I'm going to go ahead and prepare to press the home and the power button. Make sure you guys can see here. And okay, now we're going to hold them both. And then we're going to go ahead and just hold them for about 10 seconds. Now we're about to release the power button. Now we're going to go ahead and release the power button and to continue holding the home button. As you can see here, I'm just going to go ahead and continue holding it. And now it's going to go ahead, it says 30 seconds, usually it's a little bit less than that. And there we go. So now, as you guys can see here, um, it's all done. And now it's going to go ahead and be running iRed. Um, so this won't work for all devices, obviously, but it will work for the iPod Touch second generation. So all you need to do is go ahead and just follow the instructions on the screen and you will be good to go. So as you see here, device is all off and now it says that your device is now in a pwned DFU mode state. Okay, so at this point we're going to go ahead and restore our custom firmware made by Snowbreeze onto our device. Um, so more than likely iTunes will go ahead and pop up on its own. If not, go ahead and open it. And it should say that you have it, there is an iPod or an iPhone in recovery mode. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Ready to go. So now all we need to do is go ahead and hit restore. Although don't just click it. You need to go ahead and hold the left shift key and then click it. Okay, so now go ahead and go to your desktop and then go ahead and select the Snowbreeze IPSW. 
Now all you need to do is go ahead and hit open, and then it'll go ahead and ask you, well, do you want to go ahead and restore it, which obviously you do. Now this is going to go ahead and take just a few minutes, so I'll go ahead and be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so that's it. As soon as iTunes is done, feel free to go ahead and unplug your device. And then if you take a look and scroll over to the last page, you will now see Cydia is installed. So congratulations, that's it. You are now fully jailbroken. So go ahead and enjoy. Um, so anyway, guys, if you do have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will do my best to get back to as many of you as I can. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.